Welcome to the Invasive Intruders, and today we explore a habitat a little closer to home. Yes, indeed, we are talking about the invasive species today. One in particular, rabbits. Those cuddly, furry, happy little... No, 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 we're talking about vicious. N not that vicious. Okay, there, we have the Eastern Cottontail Rabbit. The rabbit is native to Eastern and Central North America, but were introduced to Washington State in 1927 for hunters. However, they were moved or migrated to British Columbia and established near the Fraser Valley region. They were then introduced to Cirque near Victoria on Vancouver Island in 1964 and they are now common throughout southern Vancouver Island. Here we see the eastern cottontail rabbit in a natural habitat. Astonishing, right? Beautiful creature. The eastern cottontail rabbit's non-native ecosystem is the Gary Oak ecosystems because it's a perfect habitat for these critters. In this ecosystem, winters are mild, low pressure areas dominate coastal areas because the coast mountain impede the southward movement of cold, high pressure systems. There are native flora found in this ecosystem. For example, the taxon and many other plant life forms. There are fauna which reside in this ecosystem and other invasive species, which includes the house sparrow, the eastern grey squirrel, and the European starling. The landform is that there are many trees and lots of hills. Rabbits vary in the flower species that they eat, most commonly the tulip, especially during the bloom in the early spring. On the contrary, they have destruction on wood, bark, and pretty much anything woody by gnawing on its trunk. He said woody. During the winter, when their problem is especially annoying and cause rather expensive home landscape damage to plants, orchards, forest plantations, and park trees and shrubs. They also carry parasites and diseases such as tularemia, rabbit fever. The Gary Oaks ecosystem is the perfect place for it to thrive. There are many ways to stop the uprising of the foul demons. One form of natural control is the manipulation of the, of the rabbit's habitat. Although frequently overlooked, removing bush piles, weed patches, dumps, stone piles and other debris where rabbits live and hide could be an excellent way to manage rabbits. It is especially effective in suburban areas where fewer suitable habitats are likely to be available. Vegetation control in a long ditch banks or fence rows will eliminate rabbit habitat in agriculture settings but is likely to have detrimental effects on other species. Although cute, the eastern cottontail rabbit is a vicious, predacious animal. By golly! That's the time, folks. We're sorry, folks, but we're time out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.